Okay, um, hello everyone. Welcome back to our assignment for advanced listening meeting. Okay. Uh, my name is Alfie Dr. Vianney and I'm from 4B and today I will read why what I have written before. I have some read up the audio. I will share it first. Okay, so for part one, there are three questions. And the first one, number one is, what is the moral value of this story? The moral value of this story is that we shouldn't overestimate ourselves and become greedy for people's attention. It's good to think highly of yourself, but don't let it make you forget the good things about yourself and your current situation in life. Um, then number second, what is the conflict of the story? Explain it. Okay, so the conflict of the story is between the red character and himself. He wanted to get acknowledged by people, but then forgot to mind his own safety when he met the cat. The third one is complete the story through the audio. Okay, so. Some people say rats are ugly creatures. When they see a rat running along, they go, ee, yuck. Well, I don't know about you, but I've always thought that this was a rather rude. Rats can have hurt feelings too, you know? In any case, when I catch sight of my reflection in a swim, I think I'm rather cute. Just recently, I was trotting along the King's Highway in my sweet little way when I heard a great commotion on the road up ahead. Who or what is causing all that fuss? I wondered. When I got closer, I saw the King himself riding along on top of a great fat lump of an elephant. The crowd of onlookers were ooing and aying, full of admiration for that stupid beast with a nose that's far too big for her face. She's much uglier than me, I thought. So I started to spring up and down and say, hey everyone, why not look at me? I'm such a cute pie. I could join the king's household and be a royal rat. If only there was a justice in the world. At first, nobody noticed me. They were all too busy ogling that stupid elephant. Little did I know that riding behind the elephant in the carriage was the princess. And she was holding a beastly cat in her arms. When he caught sight of me, the cat leaped out of the carriage and started to chase me. I had to run for my life and pop down a hole just in time before the cat could eat me up. Now I've changed my mind about wanting people to notice me and admire me. I've decided that sometimes it's far better to not draw attention to yourself, but just to get on quietly with your own business. So that's for part three of, I mean, number three of part one. <coughs> I'm sorry. Then we continue to part two. Part two, number one is describe every characterization for, from each 
character in the story. The, the first character is Cinderella. She is a poor orphan. She's beautiful and also beautiful. The second one is the stepmother. She is short tempered, arrogant, and vicious. The step the stepsisters uh, also organ and overconfident. The prince is kind. He is fall in love easily and kind of romantic. The fairy godmother is kind, magical, so and wise. The royal servant is kind, fire, I mean fair and wise. The number two is what happens with the main character. Describe the conflict between main character to each character. So Cinderella as the main character was abused by her stepmother and stepsisters. Then one day, a very good mother helped her to attend a ball at the palace with her magics. The prince fell in love with Cinderella at the ball, but he lost track of her when Cinderella ran away when the time had passed midnight. The stepmother and stepsisters cursed her when she was found by the royal servant. The prince and Cinderella got married not so long after and lived happily ever after. And number three is retell the story through the audio using your own words. The audio was about Cinderella, a girl who lived with her stepmother and stepsisters after her mother passed away. She was abused by her stepmother and stepsisters to do all the house courses non-stop from dawn until night every day. When her father was away, she practically became a maid at her own house. One night, a, a ball was held at the palace by the kingdom. All people were invited and the ladies were trying their best to get the prince attention. The stepmother and stepsisters were also trying their best to show themselves. When Cinderella was left alone at home, the fairy godmother helped her with her magic to get Cinderella to attend the party. She warned Cinderella to get home before midnight or else she would get embarrassed more than she can imagine. Cinderella attended the party as beautiful as a goddess can be. So her stepmother and stepsisters could not know her. The prince fell in love right away when he saw her. He asked her to dance all night and decided to propose to her on the dance floor. But sadly, the clock had turned to midnight and Cinderella was panicking to get home right away. So she ran out from the ball and accidentally left her glass slipper on the stairs. The prince ordered all the royal servants to find the owner of the glass slipper. As every girl tried to slip their feet into the glass slipper, no one fit perfectly enough to it. Then came the royal servants to Cinderella's house the stepsisters, the stepsisters were sure they would fit into the slipper and became the princess, but none of them could. The royal servants saw Cinderella who was cleaning the fireplace and asked her to try the slipper. Her foot slipped perfectly into the slipper and the royal servants brought her back to the palace. When the prince met her, he knew that she was the one who he was looking for. Therefore, they got married and lived happily ever after. The end. Thank you for listening to me in this assignment. And see you on the next assignment. Goodbye.